Hey everyone, this is Christopher here with Profex Max, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to take your the, all those little weeble wobbles out of your footage, or stabilize your footage in more common terms, uh, and we're going to be doing this in Blender. Now, Blender is, in my opinion, one of the best softwares for stabilizing your footage because of how smooth it ends up in the long run, things of that nature, and so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that, and it's very easy, it's very quick, and so, without any further ado, let's go ahead and uh, hop on into the, uh, we'll start at the computer and start doing a tutorial. Start, start stabilizing our footage. Here in Blender, I have our Visual Effects workspace open, and I have our movie clip in our Visual Effects workspace. First off, you'll notice the color is a little bit different, so let's go and change it from Filmic to Standard. I don't know why Standard is in the default by now, in the Visual Effects workspace at least. Um, anyways, next what we want to do is we want to set this, the frame rate or the number of frames of this video to our project. It, and instead of fishing around, you can just click set scene frames and that will automatically set it, which is amazing. And now what we want to do, because we don't want to have this like slowly cache out, is we want to click prefetch. And that will basically cache out our file here. Now, if yours doesn't cache out all the way, chances are your file is too big. I know it doesn't a lot on 4K stuff. But you can just go to system and go to memory cache them and just ch change that up to cache more. And I believe that was the settings to do it. Anyways, let's go and jump straight into stabilization. Let's zoom in here and let's drop in a tracking marker. Hold down control and click here. Let's go track and see where it is. And then we can hit G and hold down shift and move it around a little bit to you know center it more up. Actually, I want to center it more for on that corner right there. And from here, let's just track this forward. And it tracked almost instantly, which is good. So now we can go and stabilize our footage. Jump over to stabilization, click 2D stabilization, and make sure this track is selected, and then add that track in. Tracks for location, and voila, it, it, it is stabilized, um, but it's still shaking. Anyways, go over here and check show stable, and yay, it's stabilized, but you can tell there's a little bit of rotation, so let's go and fix that by dropping in a few other tracking markers. Make sure that's centered up pretty good, and then uh, over on this side, Let's drop in a tracking marker here as well. Uh, let's select these two and track them out as well. And they tracked almost instantly. Same procedure, go over here, select these both, and uh, whoop, enable rotation and scale, and then add them in here. And you notice the footage shifted a little bit when we did that because now it's correcting the rotation. And boom, I mean, this is as stable as, as eating a pineapple. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Anyways, um, next what we want to do is go and add this into our final shot. Because right now, if we render this out, it would render out these, these shaky footage still, if anything. Okay? So let's check use nodes. Render layers is enabled here. That's not what we want. Hold down, uh, click on the render layers and hit shift S and go to movie clip. And grab our clip. Control shift click on that if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled. If you don't, then uh, enable it because it's smart too. Anyways, hold down shift and right click drag over this, drop in a rewrite re node, so just you know, keep everything organized. And what we want to do now is drop in a 2D stabilization node. So let's go to distort, or excuse me, stabilize 2D node. <laughs> uh, drop in our clip, which is perfect, because now, oh, you can see the sh frame shifting around. You don't see it moving around, you see the frame shifting, which means it's stabilized, which is good, um, except now there will be like lines and like a border around it. So what we want to do here is uh, find our scale node. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to find it. So I'm probably just going to have to give up and uh, yeah, I'm just going to give up and I'm going to, oh no, I'm sorry, distort, scale, and drop that in and just drag down on that and just change it to about 1.1 maybe. Let's hope that's it. Ooh, no, no, I'm sorry, okay. 1.05 possibly just just a little bit, just enough to basically cut the border jumping around out. Then that is good. Uh, it stabilized so much, pretty much up here, if you just keep your eye up here, um, when I switch the frame, only stuff over here moves. This doesn't move at all, which is so nice. I mean, it may move like a pixel or something, but okay, that's fine. Um, and that would be how you would stabilize your footage inside, oops, of Blender. Um, go ahead and move this over. And... Lastly, uh, I would just simply render this out as a video. Right here, this is about perfect for a video. So just go ahead and change it to FFmpeg video, change it to QuickTime, 
you know, whatever codec you want to use, and output quality, whatever it is, and you know the whole ordeal, set and output, and then render out the animation. So I hope you guys liked that video. Hope it's helpful to you guys. If you guys do like this video, click that like button down below. Have any questions or comments? Drop them in the comments box down below. And for more videos on DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Post Production, CGI, and those kind of things, click that subscribe button. Also, um, follow me on Instagram because I post some of my CG stuff and uh, 3D render, stuff like that. I'm going to be trying to post some visual effects before and after, things of that nature that I've done. But follow me on Instagram. Uh, put the link in the description, and uh, I'll see you over there.